The scouts have returned, Your Majesty. They've located the Archbishop. Excellent. We'll ride to them at once. For now, everything is going according to plan. We're ready to ride when you are, Dimitri. Just give the word and we'll move out. Gotta say, it's gonna feel great to fight alongside all these familiar faces again. You're right. I always feel much stronger when my friends are around. Our time together at the Academy might have been short, but it still puts my mind at ease to be reunited with everyone. <laughs> I could hardly believe His Majesty reached out to me of all people, but I'm really glad he did. <laughs> I'm pleased to see you all here. <laughs> I always knew this day might come. I prepared myself as best I can, but I am still a bundle of nerves. This will be a lot different from the fighting that's been going on the past two years. We'll need to really have each other's backs out there. The point of no return is finally upon us, Your Majesty. I trust you've made your peace. I have. The blood spilled today will be a worthy sacrifice if it means keeping the people of Fargus, the people of our home, safe. That is our cause. We have no reason to hesitate. Now move out! You are, Lady Rip I'll do my best. Let's move. I am relieved to find you alive and well. Let's begin. I. King Dimitri, you have my gratitude for coming to aid us in our time of need. I fear we have no time for niceness. Yeah. We must make our way out of the valley and return to Kingdom territory. How sweaty I'd get here. Ah, gross. That general lacks motivation. We may be able to persuade her to join our cause. Oh, 
Mark's not in this fight, Mark. Really. You are not beholden to the Empire. Why don't you join us instead? You have my word that no harm will come to you. You've got a point. And I guess you did beat me fair and square. All right, lead away. Yeah. Your Majesty, Imperial forces are setting up a blockade at the stronghold ahead. <laughs> They cut us off. We'll be forced toward the volcanic crater. We cannot allow them to push us down the dangerous path. Let us charge forth and carve our way through. We should be able to move forward safely now. You have my thanks. The goddess smiles upon your gallant deeds. They're getting away! We gotta stop them somehow! This ridiculous charade won't stop us. I'm unstoppable. We can always depend on your strength. The Prince, Sedith and Captain are under attack by Imperial forces. We will proceed as planned. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I'll give it. Leave everything to me, shall we? Let's give it a shot. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. So I find myself cornered. Perhaps I misjudged the situation. Persistent little guys, aren't you? Cut one down and another two just spring up in their place. They must not be allowed to fall here. Please, King Dimitri, may I ask that you lend them your aid? safe? Did she get away? <laughs> the world is covering the wheel. He will never make it out. <laughs> the I shall not sacrifice his life for the sake of my own. Please, help him. To show how strong you've become.
true valor, Stacey. Lady Rhea will soon be clear of the valor thanks to you. I'm so glad. Thank you. gratitude for your efforts in rescuing Cyril, and to the goddess for her divine protection. If not for you, I would have surely perished. And the Archbishop appears to be unharmed. You have my gratitude. We have to help Sedith and Catherine escape. Can't we block the lava flow with rocks or something? Not saying it'll be easy, but it might be the best shot we've got. Let's begin. Come with me. Proceed as planned. I will move to assist. Begin the operation. I have your back. I'll do it up as well. Now's our chance. Attack! everyone. Our escape is only a short ways off. You will not be passing here. 
I will be capturing the Archbishop. An ambush. We have no choice but to fight our way through. Anyone standing in my way will be eliminated with quickness. That's the Princess of Bridget. After everything she's been through, she might be willing to join us. Assuming we can take her alive. to die. Not here. Not like this. Yes. I am choosing life. I will be going with you. Kiss me. Thanks for the help. I never would have made it out of there without you. I can scarcely believe we arrived here whole and sound. Oh, you have my deepest gratitude. My apologies for the trouble. I do not wish to consider what would have happened had you not come along. your victory today how will i face her majesty after this i'm not stopping now Lady Rhea, Seneth, I'm relieved you both made it out unharmed. It appears we arrived just in time. You have our utmost thanks for aiding in our retreat, Your Majesty. I can only apologize for the trouble we may have caused your outfit. King Dimitri, I cannot express just how grateful I am to you and all the fine people of Fargus. The honor is mine. Your order provided me with immeasurable aid during my ascension to the throne. My citizens would have branded me a heathen had I not returned the favor. And now it seems we are the ones who owe a debt. The Church shall provide whatever assistance it can to your efforts. If you see it prudent, 
I have no objection to placing the Knights of our Order under Kingdom Command. Thank you both. While it pains me to qualify our hospitality, this kingdom is not a wealthy one, neither in goods nor provisions. I fear we may struggle to compensate your soldiers, or even to feed them. You needn't trouble yourself with such concerns. Your generous offer of shelter will be more than enough. Very well. We've lingered here long enough. Let us make for Ferdiad. There's much to discuss. The church, the kingdom, and the battles to come. Two years ago, I never would have imagined we'd be fighting a war like this. I'm with you there. But now that we are, you found yourself in a rather favorable situation, no? How do you mean? When a war breaks out, every mercenary in the land starts crawling out of the woodwork. And those associates you happen to be working with should be tough enough to take on you-know-who. They're not just associates. They didn't have to trust a down-and-out mercenary like me, but they did anyway. And that makes them friends. Still, you're probably right. This will be a great chance to drive Gerald's mercenaries out into the open. And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. Relax, relax. You know I'm on your side. Our destinies are forever intertwined. In that case, let's assume Cornelia has hidden herself somewhere in the Western territories. If I had to guess, I'd say either Viscount Mateus or Viscount Gideon have taken her in. All the same, we can't exactly go around unseating every vassal we suspect of being disloyal. Right. This is no simple matter, but at least we have a firmer grasp on the situation now than we did two years ago. <sighs> Dudu, send word to House Praderi. We'll need soldiers on their land if we hope to keep the enemy at bay. Yes, your majesty. Viscount Mateus' son is here with us, while Viscount Gideon's daughter is off serving as a knight in Galatea. <sighs> Under the present circumstances, we only have so many soldiers to spare on domestic matters. It seems we'll have to resort to any means necessary. In which case, I will bear the weight of the kingdom's sins. If slaughtering a hundred foes means bringing salvation to a thousand of our own, I will do it. As you wish, Your Majesty. And if I may, try not to torment yourself so much. Ah, how far our proud king has fallen. You sounded utterly vicious just now. What do you want, Felix? Oh, not much. I just thought catching a glimpse of your haggard face might put a smile on mine. I knew that playing the part of a cool-headed leader would be too much for you. But all this scheming, this calculation, doesn't suit you. Why don't you just give it a rest already? You think too highly of me. This is who I am, Felix. I've never been anything more than a bloody demon on the path of revenge. I stand here today to lift the burdens of all who perished before me. To see that those who bear guilt for their deaths are held accountable. I will expose whoever I must. Slay whoever I must to see my task through to the end. There is no place for mercy within these walls. And if it affects the safety of my people, then that's all the more reason to strike now. And here I thought you were finally starting to pull yourself together. I snuffed out my uncle's life with my own two hands. As king and as general, I've killed countless more. I looked on as nearly everyone I held dear perished. I am the one who must take responsibility for their deaths. So rest easy, Felix. The weight of my atonement will not fall on your shoulders. <laughs> No point in trying to reason with a boar. Enough of that, though. The city seems especially spirited today. Is something going on? Ah, yes. Lady Rhea and the others from the church are making an excursion to the capital. I suggest you join in on the festivities before you go. <laughs> it does the heart good to see our people smile.
Everyone here? Well, let's get right into it. We have to figure out exactly where we stand in this war. As you all know, the Empire has taken the Great Bridge of Murden. The Imperial Army now occupies what was formerly House Phlegathon territory. House Gloucester has surrendered to them as well. Doubtless an agonizing decision on my father's part. House Ordelia, to the east of the bridge, has also vowed not to take up arms against the Empire. We had precious little in the way of arms in the first place. You have my deepest apologies. You don't have to apologize, Lysithia. Count Ordelia did what anyone would have done. And now Lawrence and Lysithia can't even go back home! That's not all. After the battle, the Imperial Army crossed Gloucester territory and attacked Garrick Mach. Rhea and the rest of the Central Church have apparently fled to the Kingdom for sanctuary. Then I suppose none of us will be able to visit our old school anytime soon. I hope no one from the church was hurt. Now that the monastery has fallen, the front lines are rapidly expanding north. It won't be long before Deirdre is within their reach. And if our capital falls, the Alliance goes with it. We have to stop them there, no matter the cost. That all sounds well and good. But how large of an army will you even be able to raise at this point? I don't think House Edmund will be able to send more troops. I'm sorry. Which means House Goneril is the last of the five great lords upon whom we can rely. I'm not so sure the combined forces of Houses Regan and Goneril will be enough to hold off the whole Empire. We'll just have to work with what we've got. And let's not forget the hero of Daphne. But we can't expect much from her in terms of sheer numbers. Any chance the Kingdom could send troops? I doubt they'll have any to spare. They've just started engaging the Empire themselves over in the west of Fargus. And besides, I'm not sure how much we can really trust them. I still have no idea what's going on in Dimitri's head. I might just have a plan, though. For now, all I can ask is that you fight, and fight with every last thing you've got. You can always count on me! And my muscles! Thanks, Raphael. That unfounded confidence of yours is like music to my ears. We received a message from Hubert, Your Majesty. They failed to capture Archbishop Rhea. It seems she and her followers have been taken in by the Kingdom Army. They likely make for Ferdiad as we speak. So it goes. If Hubert himself couldn't succeed in the task, there's little chance anyone else could. There is more as well. Petra was taken by the enemy. She is apparently still alive, for better or for worse. I fear the Kingdom may try to use her to make an ally of Bridget. Yes, it's likely she won't be coming back. And our stance towards Bridget will require some... reconsideration. Yes, Your Majesty. Now then, we mustn't dwell on what's done. Our only choice is to look to the future. It seems an all-out war with the Kingdom is nigh unavoidable at this point. Thankfully, I expect Count Roe to join our cause. Having a hold on Aryan Road will surely prove advantageous as the war creeps on. So we stick to the plan. Through Count Roe, we should be able to ingratiate ourselves to the other lords of the Western Kingdom. Urgent report, Your Majesty. An army has been mustered at Castle Gaspar in Roe territory. Lenato, the local lord, has vowed to find and eliminate Archbishop Rhea. He's mobilizing the army northward. Count Roe's tacit approval of these actions has surely brought his allegiance to the Empire to light. I can only assume this wasn't part of the plan. It's just one thing after another. Dispatch any nearby units to the area at once. Any lords willing to sever ties with the kingdom are too valuable for us to risk losing. 